back guys we are trying out Tesla full self-driving version 12.5.4 got about a 10 minute drive so let's uh, sit back and see the power of full self-driving Man, it is crazy how many people you see on Twitter or whatever platform you're on that um, basically are, are, are under the assumption that full self-driving just doesn't work, it's a scam. And if you watch my channel, you know, I'm extremely open and I post videos about full self-driving fails and interventions and you know I'm a, a massive critic of full of full self-driving but to say that it doesn't work I mean sit back and watch the video if you have those same thoughts if you're a believer in FSD this video is just gonna reinforce what you already knew like I said a million times, we're not 100% there, uh, but we're pretty darn close. And I know close isn't enough when it comes to having, you know, full self-driving, autonomous cars, robo-taxi. Close enough is not enough, but it works pretty dang good. I don't necessarily agree with the route it's taking right now, but maybe it knows something I don't. Or maybe it's just gonna frustrate me, we'll see. And here's possibly one of those videos we'll see here soon that I'm going to be talking about the negatives of full self-driving. Oh, and no, that actually handled that pretty well. Instead of going the normal way where there was a stoplight um, or a light and went that side road where we just had a stop sign and we had to, you know, merge in front of, you know, two-way traffic. And if we were going to be stuck there forever, it would have been super, super frustrating. But that route was faster than if we would have went to that, you know, major intersection and waited at the light. We actually would have been there longer. So, wow, FSD rolled the dice, and it was, it was correct there. Probably saved me, who knows, thirty seconds to a minute. But also, it has no way to predict. The traffic so we also could have been sitting there for minutes on end but I went I, I don't know I don't that I would like to see if it would make that decision when there's more traffic on the road you know does it look ahead on the map and go oh instead of waiting at the light if we go out on the stop sign right now there isn't a lot of traffic and we won't have to wait a long time I wonder if it could recognize oh no there's actually a lot of traffic on that road right now we'd probably be stuck waiting there for a long time so interesting to think about like I said before maybe it knows something that I don't and in that situation it was correct it was faster maneuvered around all these traffic cones pretty flawlessly that pretty naturally 
that's what you'll notice about a lot of these newer updates and a lot of people have said this as well the car feels more natural now than a couple updates before like that stop right there to turn right on some previous updates maybe would have had like an extra stop and wait added in there but that was flawless there what's crazy is this isn't the route that I take to get to where I'm going but sometimes the FSD is smarter than me and knows the best route but if you watch my channel there's some videos from this week where the FSD is not smarter than me and it makes some mistakes on this topic I was talking to someone on Twitter and they were saying how FSD is 99% here and my response was yeah I believe that's pretty much right I don't know if it's 99 or 95 you know who knows what percent it is but let's just say it's 95 to 99 percent but let's just give it the 99 percent let's say in the next couple months FSD technology is 99 percent of the way there first of all that last one percent the fringe cases is the hardest that's what takes you forever to solve and to be honest you may never actually have it solved 100 percent so 99% of the way there, that 1% left is the hardest. And we can't have, you know, mass robo taxi vehicles out there on the road with it only being at 99% solved. But as I'm saying this, I'm thinking, well, human drivers behind the wheel on the road, are they 100% solved? You know, did they? make 100% of the most accurate decisions when they're behind the wheel? No, they don't. And to be honest, it's probably less than 99% accounting for human error. So it makes you think, is 99% of the way good enough? But then with full self-driving, you have these situations where Let's just say the car doesn't know where to stop. Oh, and the car, that was smart. The car knew that the slow truck was going slow in our lane, so it wanted to get around it to go faster. The car changed lanes, and the FSD decided, nope, we'll stay in this lane. Bravo. Um, yeah, my only beef with FSD as a robo-taxi is there's some situations the car just doesn't know how to handle, like, a weird intersection or a construction site or weird cars merging at different places or not having the map correct and not knowing where to go and the car will just sit there and like spaz out and not know what to think and and imagine being a passenger in a robo taxi and the cars like in the middle of the intersection are blocking a road you know not what not knowing what to do and sputtering you're gonna be freaking out. People are gonna be honking at you. People are gonna be pissed. So that's that's where I'm hesitant of FSD is those situations. And if you watch my channel, you'll see that I've had situations like that this week. Very small percent, but it's there. And um, yeah, we can't have that. And I think that's why Waymo has, it's either Waymo or Cruise, they have people that can take over the wheel uh, to, you know, to fix that, but I don't think FSD, you know, Tesla Robo Taxi plans on having that. So, gonna be interesting to see how that's solved. And yeah, all right, guys, I'm getting to my location. I appreciate you watching. Please subscribe if you haven't, and let me know. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Take care.